All right, so in this problem, we're going to look at sets of four quantum numbers, and using the quantum, quantum number rules, we're going to decide whether the set is allowed or not allowed. So in order to be allowed, of course, it has to follow all of the rules for n, l, m sub l, and m sub s. All right, so let's look at the first one and just remind ourselves what these mean so we can see they're listed in terms of, so for, this is n, this is l, this is m sub l, and this is m sub s, okay? So when you see a set of four quantum numbers, that's what it means. All right, now n is fine, all right? So it just can't be zero, but other than that, it's an integer number, and so n equals two, that's perfectly fine. All right, now, the question is, is L allowed to be zero when N is equal to two? And so remember, L can't be greater than N minus one, okay? So it can only go up from zero to N minus one, okay? Now, since L is allowed to be zero, then zero for L is fine, okay? So that one's fine. So, all right, now what about M sub L? All right, so remember for m sub l, the little shorthand that we've been using is it can go from negative l to positive l, okay? And so l equals zero, so that just means that m sub l can be negative zero and positive zero, which of course is still zero, so that one's okay, all right? And then remember for m sub s, it can either be plus one half or minus one half, spin up or spin down, so that one's fine too. So this one is allowed. Okay, so that's an example of a set of four quantum numbers that is allowed, and in, and in particular, this is a 2s orbital, okay? Now the question didn't ask you for that, but you can get that information from, so there's principal quantum number two, and then L equals zero is an s orbital, okay? All right, so let's look at the next one, okay? And so here we have n equals two, which we said earlier is fine. L equals zero, that's allowed for n equals two. But let's look at m sub l, all right? So looking at m sub l right here. So m sub l is greater than l, okay? And so this set is not allowed, that's all it takes. One rule broken, okay, because m sub l is greater than L, and that's not allowed, okay? All right, so let's look at the next set. All right, so N equals three, of course that's fine. L equals one, so that's less than N minus one. So for N equals three, L can be zero, one, or two, and so clearly that's allowed, all right? m sub l for l equals one, it can be minus one, zero, and one, so clearly that's allowed. And then when we look at m sub s, it's positive one half, so this set is allowed. Okay, and think about what type of orbital that is. So use n and l, all right? So l equals one, remember that's a p orbital, so this is a 3p orbital, okay? So it's one of the 3p orbitals. All right, so let's look at our last one, okay? N equals four, perfectly fine, all right? L equals four. All right, so start thinking about that. So that is equal to N, and that's not allowed, because remember, L can be no larger than N minus one, okay? So this set is not allowed. So basically, once you find something that isn't allowed, it doesn't even matter about those two, okay?